All right, we are going to start my tour of my Hogwarts dormitory. Now, up top here, you will see that this is an LOL doll, and she was the reason why I actually started redoing all the doll rooms, because she's brand new, but I've already had the bed and other furniture in here, and she just fit in so perfectly. So, after getting her situated, I decided, you know what, it's a it's you know new year new change of pace let's uh remodel the whole house but she's got a whole bunch of cool little gothic trinkets stuff that i get from michael's craft store or hobby lobby and so she kind of fits in she's a witch but you know she's got a bulbous head so we're gonna start down here and yes i'm sitting on the floor and this is our entrance and as soon as we come in we'll have two wicker chairs and a glass cabinet that has trophies and stuff and up top there's a little statue of Norbert um, Hagrid's dragon Triwizard tournament cup other little doll trophies and knickknackery from around the world I figure since the goal is inner house unity after the war that everybody would contribute trinkets. So we have stuff from the Ravenclaws, and I figure some of the, uh, like the camel and the, the cat would be from Jenny, from her family going to Egypt. The Eiffel Tower statue would be from Hermione. This is my custom Pansy Parkinson. I used the first edition Hermione doll took the head off of a model muse Barbie, took the hands from that LOL doll, put the hands back onto her to give her those killer nails, and, um, and then just found a dress that would work. Over here to the common room, um, we have an inflatable furniture with a couch. Here we have a coffee table. We do have to feed, clean up in the back. The only thing that could make it more money is the on top of it. We ever have Ron kicking it here, wearing an NBA Wizards jersey. We want to remote because we have a TV right there, complete with <laughs> a VCR. He's, he's learning all the muggle tech. Um, we have a bathroom. This remained untouched. It was already designed and like this, but uh, I plug in the battery pack and this lantern glows. The sink is custom. It's um, half an Easter egg with a paper tube that has been built up, glued into a cap. A little inside hook on a clothes hanger with some beads, all painted in an ivory eggshell color with a mirror that's been glued to the wall. So this always stays as the bathroom. Yep, got a real toilet. And then we got over here. Uh, down here's just the garage storage. I didn't really have a lot of room for stuff. Next to it will be the laundry room where we have discarded Quidditch gear, the washer and dryer. Above here we have the kitchen. We have Draco Malfoy sitting here with his morning coffee, reading the paper, and his companion happens to be Hermione's new cat from the Littlest Pet Shop. Fluffy white Persian kitty. And its bed is over there, and its kibble is right there. So we have, oh, if I uh, <laughs> hit this. Oh, there we go. So, gobs of pink everywhere, unfortunately, because Mattel does not know how to make furniture in realistic coloring. Um, we've got some eatery there, a tea set for two. He's having some toast and jam. There's a bowl of fruit right there. And he is also wearing Harry's uh, Yule Ball outfit because it's the nicest of the boy clothing. And then just a little sausage and egg. 
up top we have Luna's room. Hers was the first I started because this box right here um, with this bed is part of a Barbie line from 20 years ago called Generation Girls. And this series was called the My Room Edition where the, the box that you bought actually folded out and turned into the room. And this decorative wall and flooring also came with it. So Luna here is our globe trotter. She's got stuff from all over the world and she's always the kind to have a have a to-do list and uh, places to go, people to see, that kind of thing. And so she's just got a little bit of everything. And one of my favorites to have in here are these little book charms from Hobby Lobby. And this says Magical Creatures, and this is volume four. All the rest of the books are there. So, let's see, we got some hand-painted rabbits from China. We've got some books. We've got tickets and sunscreen and a passport. Jewelry galore. Go over there. And we see her window. We see artwork. We see other souvenirs from around the world. We see her quibbler, her glasses, her wand, her lamp with an teddy bear backpack because it wouldn't be the 90s without one and it's actually sitting on top of a medicine cup these are really good to keep this is a cell phone chair actually about 10 15 years ago cell phones were small so we bought them chairs <laughs> her blanket is actually a shirt from my daughter that she outgrew but because her nickname was ladybug we uh, kept it this is a handmade purse that I actually just got for Christmas so it's a book bag and then there's instruments you know who knows uh, maybe Luna is dabbling with uh, some instruments music so for Cho Chang we also have Cedric visiting he's having some Chinese and she's looking lovely in pink she has a nice vanity here with art supplies, pencils that I made from cut toothpicks, and tiny little canvases that I actually did paint myself. And then we just have more art supplies on the go. A little rainbow tassel there. The back wall is just the decorative part that goes to this because the character it went to was the artist. You can see she's got paints, a camera, a little swan figure as a nod to her Patronus. You can see she's also have as her uh, Hogwarts Yule Ball invitation with a clay statue that she made. And that wand there is actually a, a scepter from a prom queen Barbie set because her character actually didn't have a wand. So, well, not the doll, at least. And because this bed is so skinny, it had and it was room for the desk, so I was like, yes, I'm going to make one of my characters an artist. And actually, um, in my story, The Peacock and the Otter, she's actually um, an artist who works with clay, so this works out really well. We have Ginny's room, and... This is some cardboard with some tape and a little light fixture I made from beads and glue. And we have a dresser and on it we have a figure of a horse, her Patronus. We have a picture of Fred, well, you know, Ken, but ginger hair, it's Fred. Snitch given to her by Harry. And he's teaching her the difference between DC and Marvel. So you can see she's holding two small action figures of Wonder Woman and Elektra. She got a poster for the Jasmine and the Flaming Pixies, which was, you know, fairy set. Got her shoes under the bed. Actually, it's everybody's shoes. It's just, uh, hers is the only room that has space for it. She has a hat and a clear plastic bag to put her books in because, you know, the 90s. And then over here we have Hedwig, which is actually not officially Hedwig. It's an owl from Schleich, and the cage is from Hobby Lobby. 
Actually, I got both of these at Hobby Lobby, but different times. Uh, more muggle stuff. Harry's spare glasses. And also tiny little coins, which also came from Hobby Lobby. And the rubber duck. <laughs> because we had to. And uh, this cute little tresser is actually, it matches Luna's, comes from the Dollar Tree. Uh, then down here we have Hermione's room. She has a nice fluffy duvet on her bed. She's got the feather pen from Cher, Clueless Cher. And she has a little lion plushie. She's holding a book. More of the little book charms. We have Pride and Prejudice, but this one here, The Secret Garden, and also the one she's holding, actually open up and have paper. And as you can see, I, I actually get those a lot. So all of those are book charms. Those are book charms. And that one's a book charm that actually has paper. This is also another thing from Hobby Lobby. And then this cat bead. I was like, oh, that could be a perfect little homage to Crookshanks. And then, oh, is that a little dragon statue? Hmm. And then another little cat figurine, some Barbie CDs, who knows, maybe she's listening to the Spice Girls, over here on her dresser, a plant, some perfume, her Hogwarts uh, Yule Ball thing, a passport, because she also travels, another plant, she's just chilling, she just had some tea, very clear cup, these are also from the Dollar Tree, and this one actually has knobs, I glued these two together and then glued beads on the bottom so it stands a little taller. And then another bag with a book. And then my favorite room is the potions lab. With lights. I'm, I'm doing this with the button because I don't actually have batteries in the thing. And I strung them across. Now, this is my Yule Ball Harry, which I turned into Theodore Knott simply by taking acetone and erasing the scar off his forehead and putting him in the Slytherin shirt. For the regular Harry, up there, I painted his eyes green, as they should be. So, we have a distinct Harry, because this one actually has black hair, and then this one has brown hair. So they look like two different characters. He's holding a ladle and he's got a bandage on because he's had a mishap before in the lab. And back here we have one of those uh, desk organization things and tons of tiny treasures. Little bottles, some of them hold nail art things, others were actually earrings and books I made from a foam board I just wrapped in paper. Uh, more glass bottles from Hobby Lobby, more charms, like this scroll here. It's actually pretty darn heavy. Up top, we've got a snowflake. I've got some actual tree foliage I collected, a crystal ball, a skull, a little crystal in here. Another excellent charm from Hobby Lobby, and you can see I've got one on the desk. Uh, and then down here we have the pensive, which is actually a bird feeder, and it is from that small uh, line where you have the garden gnomes and fairy things that, you know, they're all miniatures. So this was only a few dollars, but it's a pensive. All right, over here we have the potions lab. I have a simple little Halloween cauldron. This one's got fire detail. Some cotton fluff. This is the tail to rarity. It broke off of one of my daughter's ponies and I can't glue it back on. This was actually an earring from Claire's. So I just stuffed this tiny little spoon through the loop and it's a toxic ingredient. And then this is actually another little cauldron bubbling up. I have um, this jar of actual wishbones. It's, they're fake, you know. But 
I don't remember how much this cost. I used to shop at Hobby Lobby and get stuff on sale. And um, this little glass jar has a real rose inside. And it's made with a teardrop shape so it actually hangs down. I have some Ashwinder eggs and lace fly, lace wing of fly, who's missing a wing because it's been cut off for the ingredients. Got some candlelight here and more little doodads, shells. That's a real feather that I found, by the way. Super tiny. I can't even breathe on it. It'll fly away. More tiny charms, spell books that require, uh, you know, mechanical ways of being opened, not just spells. And, uh, then over here, we have a dry erase board <laughs> because, you know, we're interpreting. And then some artwork. And then, of course, we have some scrolls and more quill and ink. A little green fire here, just sitting in a jar. This typewriter is actually a pencil sharpener, but the keys are totally incorrect. There's absolutely nothing correct about this thing, but it's so heavy. And then more books that actually open up with real paper. You can actually write stuff. And then I have a little key hanging off of here. More stuff down here, miniature books. This one from Charmed. And then these tiny, um, these are scrapbook detail stuff that you can just like put in with your collages. But it makes great fodder here for someone who has been researching and looking for stuff. And then we have a med kit because, you know, Theodore was not paying attention and got burned. So we just stick him right back in there. Turn the light on again. Yeah, we're not we're running low on the juice here when it comes to the battery. Uh down here is just more storage. Um, wheelchairs, ramps, a trash can, rosebuds, giant German Shepherd dog. Just stuff that I've had. So that like, doesn't really count, neither does the garage. But I uh, really took my time to get everything right because, you know, whoopsie, you know, when you're a fan, you're dedicated. And also here, my batteries are dying, but these cute purple Halloween bat lights, um, they just go really perfect with the room. This unicorno, not a unicorno, sorry, Skelimals, was a Hot Topic necklace. I just took the ring off of the cloche here and just put it in the room. And the Karomi was a keychain figure. And this unicorn skull is a keychain figure I got from Five Below. And then I also got these uh, adorable tiny little books from Michaels. Witchcraft, astrology, fortune telling. So this is um, Ever After High and Monster High Furniture, but it just goes really well with her. That's her purse and her shoes, but that is a Barbie trick-or-treat bag. And because she likes astronomy, she gets the telescope. And then she just has this hanging there. Some extra brooms just hanging about. So yeah, uh, that is my dollhouse that is the hogwarts dormitory and i hope you guys really appreciate it and let me know what you think especially on how you think pansy turned out um right now this is like the only head that would work the only one with short black hair because i um i'm not ready to customize a head yet with rerouting but i figure you know, if I can quickly make up Theodore, then I can do, I can make Pansy. All right. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.